Tim up, it's now 11 to 4, and most of the firms are showing 11 to 4 against that leadership. It's then 6 to 1 Kilburn with 13 to 2 Beach and Violet, and 8 to 1 against Man of Mystery. You can then get 10 to 1 clipped in from 12, that Rezim. I cried for you is also a 10 to 1 chance. With a, you can get 11 to 1 in places that Rezim, though it is generally, as I said, a 10 to 1 chance. Turbo's been backed from 20 to 1 into 16 to 1 with a 28 to 1 chance this morning. Drawn stall won that Turbo. That's one of the reasons for the support for that. 20 to 1 at the top, that Johanian. It's also 20 to 1 against Pasithea. You get a Pony 25 to 1. Dane Law, Morrow Castle, also 25 to 1. And Double Carpet, 33 to 1. Horses like Pinchincha and McBain, 25 to 1 against Tony Ty. And 66 to 1, the rags at the bottom. But the support very, very strong for this leadership. And it's holding at 11 to 4. As they line up for the 43rd running of the John Smith Cup, they break away man and mystery miss the kick badly but cuts in behind to get towards the rail in the early charge Pinchinchar is handy vintage premium in the white jacket as well Morrow Castle is there and Kelburn is just a bit short of room up the inside the light blue sleeve jacket and it's Morrow Castle written by the Japanese writer Hiroki Goto prominent but vintage premium now proceeds him with close up McBain on the outside the blue with the red sleeves then on the outer of that with the white face court of appeal sitting behind these is Razum Pasathea is caught very deep the favorite leadership has a good early position pink cat lies about sixth or seventh in the hands of Fergal Lynch Kelburn on his inside then behind these uh, dropping back a bit is Pinchinchar Turbo up the inside next and then uh, not too far off them is Razum back in the field I cried for you towards the inside Barton Sands Jahanian and uh, looking towards the rear Dane Law is one of the back markers as vintage premium leads them left-handed leadership went off the very short nine to four favorite here can another big gamble be landed in this race and it's vintage premium that leads to court of appeal McBain is third Morrow Castle on the inside and then Razum Kelburn is next. He's at work on leadership, pushing away on the favourite leadership as they start down the straight. Razum is next, then Tony Ty behind horses. Turbo trying to get a run up the inside. Pasathea cutting in. Karofsky stays on in an orange jacket, now getting dangerous as Vintage Premium. Leadership challenging up the inside. He is responding to pressure as they run inside the final three furlongs. Morrow Castle hangs very badly away to his right, now in the centre of the track under the Japanese rider. Tony Ty and Karofsky are staying on as well well inside the two leaderships just about in front from vintage premium here's Karofsky with a run in the orange jacket on the outside beach and pilot is staying on in a noseband with Morrow Castle Tony Ty stays on as well inside the final furlong leadership on the outside Karofsky between the pair vintage premium battling on doggedly as they race towards the line vintage premium in the center leadership and Karofsky vintage premium has won it vintage premium very close for second leadership and Karofsky followed home by Tony Ty, Bisham Pilot and Dane Law then McBain it's gone to a photo Morrow Castle and Jahanian back to Pasathea and then Turbo Lermontov and then Pinchinchar Kilkenny Castle Kilburn and uh, Man of Mystery and Barton Sands amongst the stragglers with Razum and it looks as though vintage premium trained by our morning line guest Richard Fahey and with the season's riding fine, Paul Hannigan in the saddle has just scraped home. A head and short head, second number eight, Karovsky at 12 to one. Third, 14, leadership, the nine to four favorite. And fourth, number nine, Beecham Pilot. Another good run from a high draw, 15 to two. Non-runners, numbers five and 16.